and just really just to just to pay tribute to a most beautiful and gracious lady an incredible talent um, who touched the heart of millions who recorded so many albums I've even lost count every album being equally as beautiful as the last one my favorite has to be grace and gratitude or my nights of self-doubt and the nights when I felt alone and the nights when I couldn't sleep that was my album and that's the only album I've ever been able to, to fall asleep to because that was a really healing album and I suggest you still get it because it's amazing so Mrs E Olivia Newton-John wherever you may be in this moment in time I send you complete love and gratitude from my heart as just an artist from London that you inspired and touched so deeply I thank you that your music and your movies will always live on in our hearts and I thank you that you created a fan group that will make sure that even though you have left the physical you will never never ever ever leave us because your music and your mu and your movies the stories your legacy will live forever rest in peace Dame Olivia Newton-John you are loved by millions we honestly love you I'm going to show you some videos because I don't want to talk anymore but I'm going to show you some videos and some photos thank you so much for being part of this week's The Jaden Show I will be back next week with an interview with the awesome Mr Emerson Newton-John that was recorded before the death of Olivia um, so obviously you need to take that into, the, into account when you're watching when you're watching the, the episode to you all I wish you healing to you all I wish you peace I hope that soon you can dry your eyes and listen to Olivia knowing the fact that you've got her in your lives forever and I thank you for watching my show I will see you next week on the Jaden Show take care biggest hugs stay beautiful you have to believe we are magic nothing can stand in this is one of my favourite songs, um, I hope you enjoy it. The late George Warnow worked on high street and lived on manners. Fifty-two years he sat on his veranda and made his shadows. And if you had questions about sheep, flowers or dogs, you just ask the saddler. He lived without sin, the building a library for him. Time is a traveler, Tenderfield Saddler, turn your head. Ride again, Jackaroo, I think I see kangaroo up ahead. Son of George Wano, when often got married and had a war baby. Something went wrong and it's easier to drink than go crazy. And if there were questions about why the end was so sad. Well, George had no answers about why his son Ever had the need of a gun Time is a traveler, a tenor-filled saddler Turn your head Ride again, Jackaroo I think I see kangaroo up ahead Grandson of George has been all around the world and lives no special place. He changed his last name and he married a girl with an interesting face. He'd almost forgotten them all because in this life that he leads, there's nowhere for George and his library or the son with the gun to belong. 
except in this song. Time is a mad lie, tell it feels sad, I make you bad. Flying and cockatoo and down on the ground, in you up ahead. Oh, time is a telltale. Trying to feel sad, I'll make you bad. Fly again, cockatoo. I think I see kangaroo up ahead. Time is a traveler. Trying to feel sad, I'll turn your head. Ride again, jackaroo. I think I see kangaroo up ahead. That's for Trevor and Annette. Good day.
pray for this time. Germany in Bremerhaven and Olivia's music helped me a lot um, through difficult times that meant a lot to me for example when my mom passed away in 1982 I was 16 years old at that time and uh, she died on cancer like lived it and uh, God, I hate this, this disease. My mom always told me when, uh, when she was alive, when I get every week my pocket money, she, she always said, don't buy records from Olivia. Don't do it. Don't spend your money on records. I said, no, no, I won't, I won't. But I did, secretly, I did. I hide them, but weeks later she found out, and she smiled. <laughs> um, she liked the song, The Air That I Breathe, and uh, it's a beautiful song, isn't it? And um, when she passed away, I remembered that she loved that song, and um, when I listened to it, the first reaction was crying, crying when I think of her. But when the song finished, I smile. And even now, I smile and think of her. And uh, in other situations as well, for example, when, when uh, 
my former husband beats me up or uh, my countless miscarriage I had, I listened to Olivia's music and it helped me. It helped me. It's, it's magic, kind of, right? And um, when I heard the news two days ago that she died, I felt, no, that's not possible, not now. But my heart was broken. And now I, I imagine her in, the, in heaven with her parents again with Rona and that they hug and kiss and smile and beside them I see my mom watching them it's a lovely imagine right yeah Olivia's music is all it's everything she was the greatest I grew up with her since 1978 from Greece. It was magic. It was magic. Her music is magic. He, she is magic. And she always will be magic. Right? She's unbelievable. But now she's gone. I don't know what to say. My idol is gone. But her music will live forever in our hearts, in our souls. And so she will be remembered. A gracious lady with a gracious, beautiful smile, right? Yeah, that was my little story. I hope you like it. I hope it will help you. And greetings from Germany to you, Jaden. Take care, okay? Bye. Hi, Jaden. Olivia Newton-John, so sad. I work as a DJ at the sharp end and I know that if I'm stuck for a song and if I need to lift the mood I need to put something on that makes everybody happy I've got the DJ's friend Olivia Newton John never fails same for karaoke nervous singers first timers what can I sing they say Paul what can I sing Olivia Newton John it works like a charm every time because everybody knows one at least two three of her songs they've got them in their heads and lastly Greece would it have been such a success without her I don't think it would it's still pulling in fans every day of the week great musical great performer sadly missed she may have gone sadly but her music lives on. Thank you, Olivia. Guess mine is not the first heart broken. My eyes are not the first to cry. Not the first to know there's just no getting over you. I'm hopelessly devoted to you. Deeply moved by the passing away of Olivia Newton John. This is my little small tribute to you. Thank you for all the inspiration. Farewell. Hello, my friends. For a few days, we got a message that Olivia Newton John have uh, left the world and left us for heaven and I will say thank you Olivia for all great music 
and fantastic movies you done. You was a fantastic fighter and you fight until until the end with that fucking cancer. So uh, I will say thank you Olivia for everything and every song I have singing to from all records. So rest in peace Olivia and we meet up in the heaven you and I and Jaden Cornelius I think he coming too and we will have a damn fun party all the people there and of course we should sing this song together sleep well Olivia rest in peace So here is a tribute song to Olivia Newton-John and her passing, and the song is Magic. Come take my hand, you should know me, I've always been in your mind, you know I will be kind, I'll be guided. Building your dream has to start now. There's no other road today. You will make a mistake. I'll be guiding you. You have to believe we are mad. Nothing can stand in no way You have to believe we are magic Don't let your aim ever stray And if all our hopes survive I'll bring all your dreams alive for you. Hola a todos, here you health and wellness coach Jay Lee. I wanted to say hello to everybody and I wanted to express how sad is the big loss that the world have had this week since Miss Newton have passed away. It is uh such a sad day, sad week. Um, even the, the sky is, is, is turned down. Um, I'm also a huge fan of her. Um, I came out to know about her probably back in 1994, 1995, when I knew that my um, uh, my biggest uh, artist, Thalia, uh, she was a uh, the character Sandy that Miss Newton made so huge, so is famous in Greece. Um, Thalia was uh, that role, and uh, Vaselina, which means uh, Greece in Spanish. And um, and she was Sandy, so then I started learning more about the movie, and then I saw how beautiful Miss Newton is. And, uh, and then I started, you know, listening to her music and 
and uh, see how beautiful her voice was and interpretations and how romantic and obviously as I like to work out and I also teach uh, group classes, uh, some of her songs can be missing in my um, uh, shuffle list because it's on my playlist because it's very awesome, you know, as we can play like physical and stuff like that. So people really enjoy it and get very excited with that kind of music and obviously her energy. So I'm pretty sure we all miss her and we all feel uh, the sadness of her last and we also know that she was a uh, very powerful fighting against cancer and I think that's a good thing that she's leaving behind that still a lot, of, a lot to do and we all have to do it and take care of ourselves, protect ourselves, examine ourselves, we need to do it ourselves as a male but also more importantly as a to all the woman in our life, her mother, sisters, everybody. So everybody take care and um, thank God that we have this future. So yeah, Olivia Newton-John, really sad news of her death um, a couple of days ago, earlier this week. Um, I really liked Olivia Newton-John. I didn't know too much about the woman until um, I'd kind of read a few articles in the newspaper. And again, with all the stuff that's been talked about around her death, she seems to me to be the epitome of a really decent human being, doing as much work as she did for the charities that she supported but my kind of love affair with Olivia Newton-John started when I was about 12 years old with the film Grease I was completely obsessed with it went to the cinema and watched it dozens of times and I was about 12 13 years old and it was the character of Sandy that really kind of grabbed my attention the quiet girl next door turns into the whole vamp thing and I really liked it um Went mad for Greece, bought myself a circle skirt and then really um, bought myself a pair of skin tight shiny leggings to do the kind of bad sandy bit. And my parents went up the wall because I was way too young to wear something like that. And actually my love of um, Greece and of um, Olivia Newton-John kind of grew. And as I became a mother, I shared that love um, with my daughter who also became obsessed with the film Greece. So really, really sad news um, to hear of uh, such a beautiful human being's passing, particularly after her battle um, with cancer. Um, I know she had breast cancer in 93 and, and, and to survive that long is a miracle in itself. Um, so Olivia, I hope that um, you are at peace and out of pain and um, may your soul um, fly free. Hi guys, this is Candice from Puerto Morelos, Mexico, and just wanted to let you know that when I was a little girl and I saw the movie Grease uh, for the first time, at that age, uh, when I saw the movie for the first time, I did not make any distinction between Olivia Newton-John as the character of Sandy and her as the real person. In my mind, I thought they were one and the same. And then years later, as an adult, I kept hearing things about how that's really how she was, very sweet, very kind to everyone. And so it made me fall in love with her character and with her even more. So if we could all be like her, um, that would be nice. Wow, Olivia Newton-John. Well, when I was going to school, and I was early, late 70s, and it was Greece. You know, everybody was like, yeah, the hairstyle, the leather jacket, John Travolta, um, the skirts. And I always wanted the shoes that Olivia Newton-John wore in the film. I'm sure they were called Dolly Rockers. <laughs> I wanted a pair of dolly rockers, literally, I really, really did, you know, but she was such a brilliant singer, um, you know, they sang that song, I got chills, that's multiplying, and I'm losing control, yeah, rest in peace, Olivia Newton-John, childhood memories, so sad. 
Um, but that's what she meant to me, you know. She was an idol back in the day, late 70s, going to school, listening to her, singing Greece, you know, wanting to go to see the, the, the movie. Never did get to see the movie until I was older. <laughs> but yeah, really good idea, um, Jaden, seriously. Um, so yeah, that's my contribution. So sleep on, Olivia Newton John. Thank you so much for the music. We'll miss you. Thank you. Hi, Jaden. Even though it's been a couple of days since we lost our Olivia, the world's Olivia, I can't quite put into words all my feelings. I'm sure as everyone is going through right now, other than, you know, she's been there my entire life since I was 12 years old, which was uh, over 40 years ago. Um, so kind of, you know, kind of like losing a parent. It's that one rock in your life that you've had in almost your entire life. Someone to, you know, is always kind of there for you when you're feeling down. You know, obviously not in reality, but her music was there for us and just following her and following her career and her amazing works and everything that she did for everyone, animals and you know, and then ultimately cancer research is just, you know, incredible how much she did for everyone else, how selfless she was. And um, I just am still kind of in shock and in a funk this week and listening to a lot of her music and trying to do what she would want us to do, and that's be happy and talk to each other and support each other and live our lives as best we can and do what we can for others. So, thanks. Take care. Okay, this is really hard. The only thing that brings me solace is knowing Olivia's not in pain anymore. That she went home to the Lord. I feel for her husband and her daughter and her family and all of our fans. Olivia was a saving grace to me my whole life. I was fortunate to meet her a few years back before her last cancer diagnosis. I shared my story about my cancer and I told her how a dog that wasn't mine became mine as he knew I had cancer before I did. Olivia, Olivia was not surprised and she said share that story. People need to know that story. Animals, they have a sense. And when I heard the news, I didn't think it was real. I thought it was a hoax. I, uh, I've been a fan for 50, for 47 years. I live in the Jersey Shore in the United States of America. My name is Lori, and Olivia was truly the most graceful, wonderful human being that has ever walked this earth. She was an earth angel, and now she flies high and is an angel in heaven. Rest in peace, dear Olivia. You're pain-free now. God bless. So my memories of Olivia Newton-John's music being in my life go right back to when I was four or five in England doing dance classes and learning to dance to You're the One That I Want, doing the ooh, 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 little dance moves happening. Um, and then in my um, primary school years, dancing in my bedroom to physical, singing into a hairbrush. Uh, and then I learned some of her songs on guitar in my teenage years. Um, and then in my adult life, um, hearing Jaden sing some of his her songs at some of his um, shows and on YouTube and stuff as well. Um, Mum and Dad used to play her all the time, records, and uh, yeah, I just love her music's always been around, always loved her. So it's really sad that she's not with us anymore, but um, yeah, she certainly has made an impact all over the world. Hi, my name is Linda. I live in New Schaeferstown, Pennsylvania, in the United States. Um, when I heard about Olivia's passing, we were in the car and I heard it on the radio and the news hit me pretty hard. I started crying in the car, but luckily I wasn't driving. Um, and then of course they played one of her songs and that really tore my heart apart. 
Um, but she was, ever since I was little, I would listen to her music. She's one of the first artists that I learned to sing her music and stuff like that. Um, she was my idol, one of the biggest influences for me to start singing. Um, and I'm not professional by any means. I cover her stuff on YouTube and at karaoke, um, like Please Mr. Please and I Honestly Love You. And then, of course, Xanadu, Grease, Physical, uh, Magic, a <laughs> whole bunch of stuff. But then, too, if it wasn't for her, I never would have met my awesome friend who I wish I could meet in person one day, Jade and Cornelius. If it was not for Olivia, I never would have met my brother in Olivia. <laughs> but um, I, guess, I guess that's it. But yeah, she was. And I'm, I'm still going to look up to her. Even though she's gone, I'm still going to admire her strength, admire her compassion and everything and look up to her still. But all right. Thanks. Okay, this is probably as close as I'm ever going to get to singing with Jaden, so take it away, Jaden. This is called Suddenly. Take 
chances with you. This tribute is from um, the Canadian province of Prince Edward Island by Barbara Watson Charbonneau. I really hope I've pronounced your surname correctly. Olivia Newton John, she was one of my favourites, only three years older than me. Her most memorable hits were during my crazy 20s, the 1970s. Hopelessly Devoted to You was one of my favourites. I remember playing it over and over as I was involved in a relationship that I really shouldn't have been involved in. Very, very sad to know that she has passed away. She was beautiful, loved her music, but now she's an eternal angel. Thank you, Barbara, for that beautiful tribute. When I found out about Olivia Newton-John, I was really saddened because she's gone through so much and what really impressed me though, when she was alive, that she really fought and was always staying, staying positive and that blue, beautiful smile. Um, she definitely was one of the people who really encouraged me to start singing. Um, I, I've always loved her music. Um, believe it or not, I went to watch her in Greece in 1978 when I was five. And I went in, out into the aisle, started singing and dancing. Oh, God, you won't catch me doing that now, but I still love to carry on singing. Um, definitely going to start having, hopefully, find somewhere these singing lessons. I thought I can carry on what I've dreamed for years. Um, I really feel for our family at the moment. It's a terrible loss. Um, much love going to them, definitely. Very much their inspiration to me in more ways than one. Hi, Jaden. Um... Thank you for uh, including me in your tribute to Olivia Newton-John. Um, I think it's touched a lot of people, her passing. I think she represented a Bible era. Um, I, my own personal story is I went to see Greece when it was first released with my mum and dad, my sister and my brother. And I'll never forget my dad was absolutely spellbind, spell, spellbound by her. And I remember as we left the cinema, he said to me, do you know what, I preferred her as Sandy. He, she didn't, he preferred her when she was obviously the more innocent kind of um, Australian young woman who'd fallen in love with John Travolta, uh, rather than when she kind of had to reinvent herself. Um, however, when she did reinvent herself, for the one that I want, she looked absolutely incredible. And for a young girl, right, so the film was released in 78, I was nine years old, I just thought she looked absolutely incredible. I loved the music, I loved the film, um, and I have a daughter of 16 who still loves the movie and the film. Um, other than that, I know that musically you were connected with her, um, but I also think what I can read about her, which has been so lovely, all the tributes that have been paid, there's not one person that hasn't said what beautiful, kind, caring, uh, seems slightly unaffected by all the, the kind of um, the fortune that had come her way. Um, yes, I would say it's very sad at 73. I know... I had followed her, obviously, in social media with her battle with breast cancer particularly. Um, and sadly, I maybe that's what, in the end, was that she she died from. Um, I think it's wonderful that you are. 
I'm not quite sure what you're planning to do um, with with people's tributes. As I said, what I loved at that particular time at nine years old, being quite impressionable young girl myself, was that she had an air of innocence and um, kind of actually that you don't always have to get dressed up and look beautiful. Actually, you can glow and look incredible as a, as a woman and actually kind of capture men's hearts through being real and authentic and natural, which in this day and age is becoming less and less of a quality, sadly. Um, so that's my story. But I will always remember my dad's comment and smile in my heart, thinking, oh, dad, that's so typically you. He didn't like the glammed up Olivia Newton-John in Greece. He liked Sandy. Um, yeah, so, Jaden, I hope this comes to, is some form of tribute that you can use. Uh, and this is Rachel Beard speaking from the UK and there wasn't one person who I haven't spoken to who hasn't said, oh my God, Olivia Newton-John has passed away. And even Sophie rang me at work to tell me, Mum, Mum, did you know that Sandy from Greece has died? So her, her memory and her beauty and everything that she stood for obviously resonated in people. And for me, particularly, I heard her Xanadu LP, which I played constantly, probably in the 80s. And although I loved Greece, Xanadu will always be my number one.
The water is white, I cannot get o'er, and neither have I wings to fly. Give me a boat that can carry two, and both shall row, my love and I. A ship there is, and she sails the sea. She's loaded deep as deep can be, but not so deep as the love I mean. I know not if I sink or swim. I leaned my back up against an oak, thinking it was a trusty tree. But first it made, and then it broke. So did my love prove false to me. Love be handsome, and love be kind, and love so true. When first it's new, but love grows old and waxes cold and fades away like morning dew. When Coco shares her silver bells, and will my love come back to me? When roses bloom in the winter's noon, then will my love return to me? Then will my love return to me? This is one of my favorite songs. This is my tribute to the beautiful Kira Olivia Newton-John. A child and a fool so sure I could need no one My heart always on the run to nowhere Now as you're holding me My heart is reminding me But now I could never be without you But how can I not succeed? A miracle is what we need And so I appeal to you To keep 
keep me suspended in time with you. Don't let this moment die. I get a feeling when I'm with you, none of the rules apply. But I know for certain goodbye is a crime. So love if you need me, so spend me in time. Wasted the time away Holding our love that day And now I can't last a day Without you Your smile is a thrill to see Your eyes hold me tenderly You shine in my memory forever But how can our love succeed? A miracle is what we need And so I appeal to you To keep me suspended in time with you don't let this moment die I get a feeling when I'm with you None of the rules apply But I know for certain goodbye is a crime So love if you need me to spend me in time In time. We love you, Olivia. Good night.